Hey guys, I'm Pixel Dan, and this is a review of the Masters of the Universe Classics Tongue Lasher. We're one step closer to completing the Snake Men, and this just happens to have always been my personal favorite Snake Man, so let's check him out. As you can see, Tongue Lasher comes in the standard Masters of the Universe Classics blister card packaging, complete with the Snake Man sticker right there on the front. The back shows off a selection of other figures in the Classics line, as well as gives us a brand new bio for Tongue Lasher. Tongue Lasher has always been one of the more interesting snake men to me because he looks the least like a snake, and much more like a tree frog, complete with bright colored skin and even frog-like fingers on his hands. And this new figure has all of those classic details. New hands feature those three fingers that look just like the foot of a tree frog. And his skin is brightly colored a shade of a pinkish purple, with dark purple markings swirled on his arms, his legs, and all down his back. All of the paintwork on this figure is clean, bright, and very vibrant. He features a new torso sculpt as well, with a unique orange chest plate there, and a green Snake Man logo that's sculpted right there onto the chest. Even his head sculpt looks much more frog-like than it does snake-like. Now the vintage Tongue Lasher figure included a dial on his back that triggered his action feature, which allowed his tongue to dart in and out of his mouth. Since the Classics line doesn't have action features, this new version comes with an alternate head with a tongue sticking out of it. The eyes are a little more squinted on this head, the mouth is open, and the tongue featured on there is that green that kind of fades into yellow, just like we saw on the vintage figure. But it also has those little teeth that are sticking out of the sides of the tongue. So this head here is a good mix of both the vintage and the 2000X styles of the character. All right, guys, let's go ahead and take a closer look at Tongue Lasher. Now, he's got that new torso there, but he's pretty much just a basic figure in this line. So if you got any of those guys, you know exactly what to expect with the articulation. But here's how it works. The head's on a nice ball joint, so you can move left, right, up, and down slightly there. Got some good range of motion there. You got ball joints at the shoulders, so the arms go outwards, forwards and backwards, you got your swivels at the biceps, your standard joint at the elbow, and then your swivel at the wrists. Got that torso crunch articulation there, you can swivel at the waist side to side. Got your ball joints at the thigh, so the legs can go outwards, then go forwards and backwards. Uh, the uh, loincloth piece is soft enough, it doesn't hinder the movement whatsoever, you can get them in a good sitting pose there. You can swivel at the thighs, you get your standard joint at the knees, and then you just have a standard ankle joint. Um, the ankle is really tight on this guy. Uh, he's got these really big feet, of course. These are uh, something specific for Tongue Lasher. He's got those really crazy feet there. Um, and nice tight joints on the ankles, which is great. However, the only downfall is I really wish that feet like this had the nice rocker joints. Uh, because since you've got such the wide base and you got the toes that point out to the side there, it is going to make some of your poses difficult when you try to spread his legs out a little bit further because as you can see, the feet are always gonna be kinda of stuck in this position because they can't lay flat since there are no rocker joints or anything like that. So, uh, that's a bit disappointing. I would've liked to see that extra articulation point put into this specific figure just because of the de design of his feet. That way we could get a little bit of better posing out of him. Um, you can still swivel his thighs to get proper poses. Um, so you can get him kinda of turn like that, that way his feet still stay flat. Um, but there are going to be many times when you're trying to pose him around and you're going to kind of run into that issue where you're like, man, I really wish that foot would just go flat. So that interchangeable head. Uh, obviously, this just pops right off of the ball joint. We got that extra head there and it just pops on in place. And this one here has the tongue that is just sculpted sticking out of his mouth uh, as opposed to the vintage figure that had the little dial that had the tongue darting in and out. Um, that tongue kind of sticks outwards there. It's a nice solid sculpt. It gets a little gummier down towards the bottom there. Um, it doesn't hinder any articulation whatsoever. It sticks out far enough there that you can see it goes right over his shoulders, uh, doesn't run into his chest or anything like that. So there you go guys, tongue lasher.
For accessories, Tongue Lasher includes his vintage style snake staff. It's just like we've seen with all the other snake men, but no snake men would be complete without one. Just like with the vintage figure, you'll have to find the best way to position it between his three fingers to get him to hold onto it properly, but it does work well and he actually holds it pretty good. His second accessory is much more unique for the character, as he has a really cool dragonfly shaped crossbow. It's a beautiful metallic blue in color, and unlike the vintage figure, it has a clip that snaps onto his wrist, making it much easier for the figure to hold onto it than the vintage one was. Alright guys, it's comparison time. Here's a look at the vintage figure standing alongside the new classics version, so that way you can see the similarities and differences between the two. And here he is alongside the 2000X Staction, which as you can see, had quite a different look than the vintage figure. So there you go my friends, a look at the new Tongue Lasher figure. Overall, this is a very solid figure. Great sculpt and paint job and excellent accessories on this one. And I've always really loved this character's look. Now I will say that this new figure seems to come off a little skinnier than I always pictured him. While the 2000X version was much too big in my opinion, even that vintage figure had a bit more heft to him. This new one does seem a little lankier, so I wish he had a little more bulk. But otherwise, I really like him, and I'm glad to be one step closer to completing the Snake Men. Tongue Lasher is part of the 2014 Club Eternia subscription, and will be available on MattyCollector.com on November 17th, 2014. Until next time...